is very nice. Hey there, HD Gaming and Jamie, welcome back. So, um, Miami to West Palm Beach. We haven't done enough for a while. Welcome to Florida. This is the Silver Star, following the Atlantic East Coast. We have just arrived at West Palm Beach, heading south to Miami. Perform passenger stops at the following stations: Delray Beach, Deerfield Beach, and Fort Lauderdale, which is where we'll be taking a break. Allow passengers to disembark here at West Palm Beach before embark departing. Cool, we can do that. Thank you, Jamie. I think Miami is a bit like Vegas. If you're in the brightly lit bits, it's fine. If you're not, then it's a little bit shuddery. I'm not a big fan of Miami myself normally. Hey there, Daily Rail. Good to see you. Haven't seen you for a while. There's my first 250 points, which we will no doubt lose very shortly. He says, thinking positively. Next station is Delray Beach in 18 miles. So we're just starting at West Palm Beach, which is uh, almost the northern end of the route. I think the route goes a little bit further on. Um, there's a yard there or something. And uh, and we're heading south now, uh, along the way to Miami, although we're not going to go all the way to Miami. We're only going to Port Lauderdale on this scenario. for 30 miles per hour. Oh, I get in trouble for not blowing the horn. Now I get in trouble for blowing the horn. <laughs> uh, new image. Yes, you can click on all of the. Uh, you can click on all the controls. Um, just drag the sliders around with your mouse. So, for example, just got the 45, so I'm just going to notch up, click on the bell. Hey there, Gary. Welcome to the channel this evening. Running a bit of Miami, West Palm Beach. Jan's already telling me off for using the horn at the wrong times. So, pretty much normal business as usual for the channel. So how do I know where quiet zones are there, Jan? Is there a particular sign I should look out for? Uh, Nico, you just aren't going to let me forget that. Are you?
Hey there, Muffin Man and Fat Daddy. Welcome to the channel this evening. Good to have you with us. Cleared up to 60 miles an hour now, so we can uh, get a slight tiny inkling of speed going now. ETA, we're currently doing quite well. We're ahead of schedule. The right place to be, and we got an achievement. There you go, Miami counting the miles. Fantastic! I feel better about myself already. That's really difficult, Nico. Um, there's something about all of them that I really like. I mean, the uh, probably the LNER and the GWR probably stand out more for me in terms of engines that uh, um, that I that I seen or that I liked. Um, but you know, there's some really stunning LMS stuff and Southern stuff as well. So, oops, forgot my bell. Um, so there's some, yeah, I don't know, It's uh, that's a really difficult question to ask, there's something to like about all of them. Uh, I, I do like Great Western Trains though when I'm driving, them, which is, uh, which is why, why I like uh, Mr. Gillum who's just joined us and uh, his wonderful Great Western uh, locos. I think the channel's always had calm, I think that's a standard thing. Favorite class of loco that didn't survive? No idea. Honestly, not a clue. What's your favourite class of loco then, Nico? Well, you wouldn't get any ads, Dark, because uh, uh, you've got a big battery icon next to your name. I was just thinking the P2 would be back soon. In fact, two of them will be back, won't they? Because one of them's doing the uh, um, the original style, and the A1 Much Loco Society are doing a, uh, a modification, which shares more components with the um, Tornado. Hey there, Happy Hour Gaming, welcome to the channel this evening. I don't know exactly which components, the things like um, wheels and trucks and chassis and so forth I think, but uh, and certainly some of the same construction styles.
Yes, I need to do a lot more green screens just to keep up with all the different locos and loco types. Um, I'm off too. That's a uh, it's on my to-do list. Something I'm going to try and do more of over the uh, over the uh, Christmas period. Hi, Jamie. Yes, they did um, look for the uh, locos like the AC12 cab forward. But they weren't the only ones that tried out cab forwards. If you just look up cab forward on the internet, you'll see that uh, a lot of companies did actually. I mean, there's the leader, which was technically, I guess, a cab forward, um, which the Southern did. Uh, and then you've got the um, there's some really weird looking German ones, um, which were uh, certainly interesting. So we're down to about 10 miles now for Delray. So far, so good. Still running a bit ahead of schedule, which is nice. But of course, the biggest challenge with the front, uh, with the cab forwards, was the uh, was how do you get coal from the tender or oil from the tender in the case of the cab forward, the AC12 cab forward, because uh, normally you'd be sitting on the uh, on that open section, shoveling off of the uh, tender. So they had to run um, big uh, auto shoveling things, which were basically conveyors that would bring the coal all the way under the loco um, into the firebox. Right, we're at 79, which I think is the max line speed for this particular stretch line. Hey there, Tay Bridge. Welcome to the channel this evening. Got a 70 mile an hour speed limit coming up, so I'm just going to drop the speed gently down. Hey there, John Coombs. Welcome to the channel this evening. Good to have you with us.
Uh, what's the minimum maximum length of scenarios? If you mean what is the capability, I, would, I don't think that this is specifically is a capability really. You can make scenarios are pretty much as long and short as you like. Um, the longer the scenario is, the significantly more difficult they get uh, and they become exponentially harder to uh, test and ensure that they were bug free. Uh, we tend to find that a uh, an amount of time to make a scenario combined with people's staying power for actually playing a scenario is somewhere between 30 and 60 minutes. Uh, once you go beyond 60 minutes, the number of people who play the scenario drops off quite considerably. Um, and certainly the number of people who finish it drops uh, tanks totally. Um, so it's not worth the bother putting the extra time in beyond 60 minutes, I don't think. Um, certainly we don't produce anything longer than 90 minutes just to allow for a slightly longer scenario. Most of our scenarios tend to be 30 to 45 minutes for that particular reason. But in terms of, uh, could you do an, a 10 hour scenario if you wanted to? Yeah, I said, actually, why not? It would probably take you a million years to make. <laughs> Certainly to get an, make it an interesting 10 hour scenario with AI all the time. I think that's where it would get tricky, very tricky. Because to do 10 hours, you'd want to be going up and down a line. And then you'd have AI pretty much overlapping with each other. And it doesn't particularly like that. Totally didn't see that 70 limit coming up. Twit. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Come on, brakes, get off. So we're almost running exactly to time, we're two miles out, which is a good position to be in. We're running slightly ahead, about 10 seconds, 60 limit coming up, and then we'll be in Delray Beach. Hey there, uh, Speedy, Ruben Train Freak, Middle Key, and MB68. Welcome to the channel this evening. Delray Beach coming up, and yes, I am making a particularly bad job of making noises at crossings, but uh, I thought for once I'd actually concentrate a little bit and see if I can't drive the rest of the scenario properly. Given my two disastrous previous attempts on this route. coming into the station they're a little bit hotter than I would like. But that's okay, we don't need the locos to be in the platform. More passenger coaches, that's what we need. There we go. And we are slightly ahead of schedule. Excellent.
hey guys, yeah, I need to re-review the uh, the manual for the uh, for what means quiet zone and what doesn't. <coughs> Something I've completely missed. Talk about Okonomi and Muffin Man. Next station is Deerfield Beach in 10 miles. Just waiting for the brakes to release because they're taking their sweet time. Oh, do you mean the Hyperloop, Jamie? Ah, Yan, so is it a uh, thing with a slash through it means just bells and then a W on its own means um, regular whistle, uh, horn, is that right? Yes, my son's all over the uh, the Hyperloop because uh, A, he's into trains and B, he likes anything that Elon Musk does, being a, uh, a massive fan of the Tesla car. Thank you, Jan. That hopefully will give me what I need to uh, make less of a fudge of it. I didn't see the board for this one. I'm just going to put the bells on. So next station, Deerfield Beach, just under 10 miles now. Speeding up to the speed limit of 79.
That was a W. Oh, and we've just gone through it. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Night work. If that's in the night time, the only I try not to do nighttime scenarios because I don't think they look particularly. There's not a lot to look at on them, but uh, I'll certainly download it and take a look. Uh, if I can remember where I put my phone. Oh, there it is. I have made a note. Signal is nicely placed on there, uh, right next to a bridge. Excellent visibility. Hey there, Mr. Gary Baldy. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. Have you just arrived from Babylon 5? <laughs> or do you just like the biscuits? So that's a W sign, so I'm assuming it's not a quiet zone. There was a sign there for this one, I missed it. Two miles away from Deerfield Beach. Ooh, got another sign there, what's that one? Can't see it, my headlights are on. That looked like a different kind of sign. Delray Beach coming up. Let's not go too mad on the speed. ETA is almost exactly on time, so we don't have to go too crazy. Okay, so I kind of overbraked there. Don't mind. We're not due in for 30 seconds. So. Mm. 
naughty car spawner. Stop doing that. Get some more of the train on the platform. That's it. And stop. And stop. So we run actually it ended up being about thirty seconds like that, which isn't the end of the world. Normally the cars do stay behind the uh, crossings um, speedy, I'm not quite sure what's wrong with that one. It seems like the car spawner was uh, spawning them in the wrong place. But Yes, normally they do start, um, sit behind. Fort Lauderdale is your next stop where you'll take a quick break, so one more station, 7.50. So due in at uh, 58. I have been in the cab of um, a couple of locos. Um, it was a uh, class 25, I think it was, on the North Norfolk Railway. We had a ride all the way up and down the line, which was really good. Um, but uh, I haven't actually driven in. I've been in many uh, cabs, and I've certainly never driven a real loco. So we're accelerating back up to the speed limit of 79, uh, Fort Lauderdale in 13.5 miles. Shadows under bridges always look like road crossings, I'm not quite sure why I can see the shadow but not the bridge. Hey there Dovitono. Thanks for joining us on the channel this evening. Kenny Dilly and London Underground Mad, welcome back. Oh, missed the uh, board while I was battling around with the speed. So we're hovering uh, about 14 seconds ahead of schedule. That's a whistle board. Welcome back, Marshy.
a 60 speed limit coming up now. having put the brakes on so much we're now going to slow down way too much must have missed a whistle board again I blew that one didn't I making a noise and making a total racket. We're still running slightly ahead of schedule. You know, I can really understand now why people like the bell to start automatically with the horn. It's a pain having to remember to turn it on myself or to or manually. Hey there, Salford Caden12. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Seven miles out of Fort Lauderdale now. Still running ahead of schedule, which is excellent. I guess the crossings, even though they're they're not sort of a um, an operational part of running the train, I like the throttle is. They're still a good thing to get right. They add a bit of extra challenge to running the scenarios. Definitely feels like there's a tutorial there somewhere describing exactly how to do these for people so that they know when the appropriate time to blow the horn is. Particularly on a route like this where there are quiet zones, when not to and when just to use the bell. So that looked like a different kind of sign, so I'm just going to bell it. Hey there, Salford Caden, didn't see you join there. Welcome to the channel.
Yeah, Mike, I think there is something actually wrong with that uh, pannier because it was uh, firing particularly poorly. I mean, the scenario is possible, but I mean, as you saw when I did it, the uh, it still failed me for every single stop because I was running so far behind. So I have raised a uh, um, a ticket back with our live team to uh, uh, when they get a chance. I've no idea when they better get a chance because they're very busy. Uh, but if they can take a look and see if they can work out what's wrong and see if they can put a fix in. I have no idea what I'm going to do next after this. Uh, we did have a request for um, a class 91. Um, so, uh, yeah, options are open at the moment. The blue tornado will have to wait because I need to get a scenario for it. Yeah, the terminal in Miami was actually supposed to open or uh, be open by now, but it's been delayed. Um, so we, we were hoping that uh, if it was open, we'd actually be able to include it in the route as a yeah, operable component, but uh, we can't, so never mind. I don't have a class 142 Northern, I only have the first Great Western class 142 I'm afraid. Just under two miles now to Fort Lauderdale, 45 limit coming up. Oh no, a clan over western lines of Scotland. I could get behind that as an idea. Be nice to have a bit of steam, a bit of variety. just in time for a whistle board. Go past the dash eight. And Fort Lauderdale just under half a mile. ETA is still ahead of schedule by two whole seconds. Yes, Kilgill, it is. Uh, it's the P forty two DC, if I remember rightly. I could be completely wrong. I'm still struggling with American locos. <laughs> I'm getting there though. Right, we're into Fort Lauderdale. Due in at uh, 16.58, which is 16 seconds away. Oh, sorry, Gary, I didn't see your comment there. Uh, the only reason I've been using the belt for this is because I was told to by other people. So, 
I'm going to have to go and do my reading and, uh, and find out because uh, I'm completely confused. Surely if the um, the horn triggering the bell happens, um, which I believe it's supposed to happen in all logos, um, the bell would be ringing anyway or would they switch it off again in fairly short order. Good work, you've arrived at Fort Lauderdale without any problems. You can take a quick break before continuing down to Miami. 996. Can I get some gold hype? And an achievement. Look at that. Right. Plan over Western lines was, uh, was I think, an excellent suggestion. So let me have a look at that. Uh, 